this demo, we show how to migrate database to Azure using the Managed Instance Link feature and SQL Server Management Studio. This link feature capability is supported on SQL Server versions 2016 to 2022. We have previously configured a link from SQL Server 2022 Enterprise Edition, which is running on SQL Virtual Machine in Azure, to Business Critical Azure SQL Managed Instance. To migrate database from SQL Server to SQL Managed Instance using the link feature, right-click on the database replica on SQL Server and select Failover in the Azure SQL Managed Instance link menu. On Choose Failover Type screen, Local Replica Status shows Local Link Role and Supported Failover Types. In this scenario, Plan Manual Failover is the only type of failover supported. On Sign into Azure and Remote Instance screen, sign into Azure and the SQL Managed Instance by clicking on respective Sign In buttons. On Post Failover Operations screen, select the checkbox for removing the link after successful failover and acknowledge the recommended actions on SQL Server. Removing the link after failover is optional only with SQL Server 2022 and SQL Managed Instance with SQL Server 2022 update policy. Optionally, if the availability group is no longer needed on SQL Server, select the checkbox for its removal. On the summary screen, review the steps to be executed to accomplish database migration and optionally generate a migration script before proceeding. On the results screen, the execution status of database migration steps can be monitored. Should an error occur during any of the steps, the details can be obtained by clicking on the error status in the details column. After all execution steps have been successfully executed, the database has been migrated from SQL Server to SQL Managed Instance. In Object Explorer, previously configured distributed availability group has been removed. To validate that the link has been removed and that the previous database replicas are now writable standalone databases, we can create a new table in each with different names and validate that they haven't been replicated. This completes the demo.